this intersection in Sardinia is back open after a fiery tanker crash. Crews were on the scene for hours working to remove the enormous tractor trailer. A second vehicle was involved in the crash. Both drivers are lucky to be alive tonight. News 4's Angela Christophoros was at the scene and spoke with witnesses. Angela? Cal, and it all started around 4 o'clock this afternoon. A tractor trailer hauling milk hit a vehicle, landed on its side, and burst into flames while the driver was still in it. Witnesses say it was a terrifying scene, and several jumped into action while the fire was burning. He, he almost died today. It was a pretty intense fire. It's, I don't know what was burning, but there was 100 gallons of diesel fuel right above the fire. Jim Weberg is one of several people who ran toward the tractor trailer with buckets of water while it was up in flames. We took a, took a fire extinguisher out of my truck, attempted to put out the fire. We had fire extinguishers that we could come up with from civilians in their vehicles. And then the truck was carrying milk. So when the hatch purged, the milk came out in quite a few gallons. So they grabbed buckets from the front lawn of the house with a where the truck ended up resting and they were throwing milk on a fire. The Erie County Sheriff's Office says the tractor trailer was traveling north on Route 16 when a car traveling west on Genesee Road failed to yield right away at the intersection. That's when the tractor trailer hit the car, overturned, and burst into flames. I'm still just astounded that this individual pulled out in front of a semi going 45 miles an hour. The driver of the tractor trailer did his best to take evasive action to avoid the collision with. Uh, Negative results, he did strike or impact the car. Uh, the luck of the driver in the passenger car, the impact was more towards the uh, uh, engine compartment of the car, and she wasn't extensively injured. He just reacted and saved that girl's life by trying to swerve, or else he would have killed her. The tractor trailer driver was stuck in the burning truck for 48 minutes before rescue crews got him out. He had a lower body injury and was transported by Mercy Flight to ECMC. Officials say his injuries are not life threatening. Crews spent hours repairing electric poles that were damaged through the accident. The Erie County Sheriff's Office does expect some sort of charge against the female driver, and the accident is under investigation. Live in the newsroom tonight, Angela Christoforo, News 4 at 11.